All right, now for the fun part, let's dig in. So we have four areas here, which is probably too much, and hopefully I'm zooming in. We have this area here on the top, which is the server with one, two CPUs, no queue, okay? So if we click into Docker Manager, we can see that all there is the root in it and then the proxy. Then we are down here with the host injury set up with the four CPUs. But more importantly, it has the queue workers. And what I mean by that is you could have eight CPUs on this top one and it wouldn't matter. It's not going to outperform this other one because it's all about threading where like the particular task at hand can't take up eight CPUs to do it faster. It's stuck to one CPU. And so down here we have the queue workers one, two, three, four. We have traffic, we have a database, which is irrelevant to this. And then we have N8N root. So this guy is the one with the CPUs, but more importantly, the queue workers ready to roll. Now, what are we gonna do to test it? We're just gonna run this workflow. It's like 10,000 records. We iterate over them a certain small chunk. So we end up putting a thousand jobs or something onto the queue. And we do that, there's probably a hundred ways to do this, but I just decided to do a webhook. So this is another workflow in, in this system and it gets hit. So we get it right off the, we get it right out of the loop. Job in, jobs that we don't wait for anything, we just keep going. Now, as it's running, this guy will wait until all of those particular records are marked done. So we have a sense of timing. So here, we're gonna see this one over here and this one over here. So I'm not so worried about starting them at the same time because it, it won't matter. So I'm gonna click that one and then that one. So now we see it running. And if we showed the non-filtered execution, you'd see a thousand jobs just hit the execution list. So now all these jobs are going into Docker and running. So here you see 56 seconds and 38 seconds. And we'll see it in the spreadsheet after, but we see that we're saving like 20 to 30% of time. Again, this isn't unrealistic. That was maybe 10,000 rows of data. Those got done in half, maybe like less. And not only that, like they got done in 50 seconds and then they overlapped and got done in 50 seconds. So it wasn't like 50 then 50. Let's go look at the numbers overall that I was seeing and then we'll wrap it up there. All right, 